Humphrey Hippopotamus. Hippo reads. <laughs> Hippo reads. <laughs> Hippo reads. It was a beautiful, sunshiny morning. The air was so clean and fresh. The wildflowers grew high on the hill. It was a happy day to play outside with friends. All the little hippopotamuses in Hippo Hills were standing together on the hill behind their homes. Humphrey Hippopotamus and his little hippo friends were trying to decide which game to play. I know, cried Humphrey Hippopotamus. Let's play hide and seek. Yes, let's all hide on the hill. The little hippos agreed. All said yes. We can take turns being it. Okay then. Said Humphrey Hippopotamus to the little boy hippo, "You be it first. Hide your eyes and slowly count to twenty-five. Put your hands over your eyes so you cannot see us. While you count very slowly to twenty-five, the rest of us will hide." The little boy hippo went to hide his eyes. He put his hands over his eyes so he could not see. He started to count slowly, and all the other little hippopotamus friends hurried all over the hill. The hippopotamuses were hurrying to find good hiding places. One, two, three. The little boy hippo counted. One little hippopotamus hid behind a big round log. Another little hippopotamus. Stood behind a huge, very big rock. A little girl hippo hid behind a big tree. Soon, everyone had found a good place to hide. It got quiet. The hiding hippo friends waited quietly for the little boy hippo to finish counting and come to find them. They heard Humphrey Hippopotamus hound dog bark one time. Then all they could hear was the little boy hippo counting. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Ready or not, here I come. The little boy hippo hunted for every little hippo's hiding place. The little boy hippo hollered, "Hooray! Hooray!" Every time he found one of his friends. His voice was getting hoarse from hollering "Hooray!" Soon, every little hippo had been found except Humphrey Hippopotamus. As all the little hippopotamus friends got together on the hill again, they saw that Humphrey Hippopotamus was not there. Everyone said that Humphrey Hippopotamus had found the best hiding place. They all started looking for Humphrey Hippopotamus. Humphrey Hippopotamus called a little girl hippo. Humphrey Hippopotamus called a little boy hippo. Please, Humphrey Hippopotamus, won't you make a little noise? Asked all the little hippos. You are in a very good hiding place, the little boy hippo added. Yes, give us a noise to help us finding where you are hiding, Humphrey Hippopotamus. The little hippo friends looked and listened. They listened carefully, but everything was quiet on the hill. The little hippo friends looked behind the big tree. Humphrey Hippopotamus was not there. They peeked behind the huge rock. 
No, Humphrey Hippopotamus was not there either. They hunted around the bushes too, but Humphrey Hippopotamus was nowhere to be found. Finally, the little hippo friends huddled together to make a plan to help find Humphrey Hippopotamus. What could have happened? Surely, Humphrey Hippopotamus was not in danger. Maybe Humphrey Hippopotamus hurt his hand, said one helpful hippo. Maybe he had to run home so his mama could put some medicine on it. I think I have a plan to help find Humphrey Hippopotamus, shouted a little girl hippo. Let's go to Humphrey Hippopotamus' house and ask his mother to help us hunt for him. Mother hippos always seem to know where to look for their little hippos. The little hippopotamus friends ran down the hill to Humphrey Hippopotamus' house. They hopped up the steps and huddled together on the porch. A helpful hippo rang the doorbell. Soon, they heard footsteps. As Humphrey Hippopotamus' mother came to the door, she was humming the song Heavenly Sunshine. <laughs> Humphrey Hippopotamus' happy mother smiled at the little hippo friends huddled together on her porch. She was drying her hands on a dish towel. Hello, my little hippo friends. What a happy surprise this is. What can I do for you this morning? One little hippo asked, Mrs. Hippopotamus, did your son Humphrey Hippopotamus come home already? Mrs. Hippopotamus shook her head. No, I did not hear Humphrey Hippopotamus come home. I was washing the dishes while I watched you little hippo friends playing hide and seek. I saw Humphrey Hippopotamus run to hide on the hill with you. I am sure Humphrey Hippopotamus is here somewhere. Mrs. Hippopotamus, we all know that Humphrey Hippopotamus must have found the best hiding place of all, said the happiest hippo. That's right, nodded another hippo. We have not found his hiding place yet. Would you like me to help you hunt for Humphrey Hippopotamus? Asked Mrs. Hippopotamus in her sweet hippo voice. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, said all the little hippo friends as they nodded their heads. After we find Humphrey Hippopotamus, we'll all come back to our house for a nice snack, said Mrs. Hippopotamus. She put her hands on her hips. Now, where could Humphrey Hippopotamus be? Do you know where Humphrey Hippopotamus is hiding?